Your Lenovo PC loaded with Microsoft Windows provides a lot of recovery options. This will come in handy when you install a new software, application, or make some configuration changes which causes your PC not to boot. In this video, we will look at a feature which helps you restore your computer to a previously working state even when it is not booting to your Windows desktop. This can be done in the Windows Recovery Environment, or WinRE. If Windows doesn't load to the desktop or start screen for two consecutive attempts, the system will automatically load the WinRE. If it doesn't load WinRE automatically, you can press the Power button and turn it off immediately when it starts loading the operating system. Repeat the process three times and it will boot to WinRE. Alternate method to boot to WinRE is by using a recovery USB drive. If you have one, plug that into one of the USB ports on the system. Most Lenovo systems allow you to enter the one-time boot menu by pressing F12 at the Lenovo logo that appears when the system is powered on. Few other models allow you to enter one-time boot menu from the Novo button. Novo button is a small circular button, usually near the power button or on the left side of the laptop. Use the arrow key on your keyboard and select the boot menu from the Novo button menu. In the next screen, select the USB drive from the list. Select the language and keyboard layout and you will boot to WinRE. In the Windows Recovery Environment, in the Choose an Option screen, click Troubleshoot. In the Troubleshoot screen, you have the option to refresh your PC, which will just refresh the operating system without deleting your personal files. Reset your PC, which will reset it to factory defaults, deleting all your personal files stored on the computer. Select Advanced Options, and in the next screen, select System Restore. You may have to select one of the administrator accounts to perform the system restore. You will be prompted to enter the password. If you don't have any password set, then just click Continue. On the System Restore window, click Next. You will now be prompted to select from a list of restore points. You can also see additional restore points if required. Once you select a restore point, you can see the list of software or Windows updates that will get affected if you restore to that point. You may have to reinstall that software again after you get back to Windows. Click Next to continue. On Confirm Your Restore Point screen, click Finish. You will receive a warning message that the process cannot be undone until the restoration is complete. Click Yes to initiate the restoration process. The system will restart and show a message to confirm the successful completion of System Restore. If the System Restore was unsuccessful, you can repeat the steps and select a different restore point. The System Restore is a great option to resolve your operating system corruption issues.